Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying some time off. So today we got day three of our devotional series under the title, Caesar is King. And this one is written by Claire Alferink. So thank you so much, Claire, for writing this. It was a fantastic devotional and I was thoroughly encouraged by it. So read with me Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Is God in control? I like to think that my natural answer is yes, of course. It's something I truly believe. Sometimes, though, I wonder if I actually believe this. What about all the crazy stuff going on right now? Is God in control of the pandemic? of schools shutting down, of our political system? Think about Mary and Joseph in the passage you just read. While Mary was pregnant, Caesar ordered a census, meaning Mary and Joseph had to embark on a long and tiring trip to Joseph's hometown. When the time came for the baby to be born, they couldn't find a place to stay. So Jesus was born in what was basically a barn. Mary was supposedly carrying the savior of the world one would think that God would have made it a little easier. She must have been questioning if God was really in control of her situation. During these crazy times, it's easy to think that other things have taken over God's throne. Back in Jesus' time, Caesar was ruler, controlling his people and making decrees that the people had to follow. Nowadays, people like our politicians seem to be in complete control. Or maybe it's more of a spiritual thing, where we are just struggling to see God at work. It might seem like God has stopped working, but we have to trust that he is present and alive in our crazy world. Here are a couple of examples for you. During exam week of my sophomore year, a couple friends and I got in a car crash. We were on our way back to school from getting lunch and boom, within a couple seconds, our world was rocked. The crash looked awful, but somehow everyone was okay. I remember being in shock. I couldn't understand how we all walked away from that unharmed. God protected my friends and myself. A few weeks ago, a friend of mine was really struggling. She couldn't manage to see how God was working in her life. A couple of people prayed for her, that God would show up and reveal himself, but didn't tell her that they had prayed for her. Minutes later, out of nowhere, my struggling friend texted saying that they suddenly felt an overwhelming peace and encouragement. For her, God showed up right when she needed him. God is still working. We can have confidence that God is showing up and will continue to show up. Yes, it takes faith to believe that he is still on the throne. But our Father has always been faithful. He has never failed to keep his promises, and he tells us in Proverbs 19.21, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Truth is, we live in a broken world. But as broken as it is, we have a perfect and faithful God, a God who holds the universe in his hand, and he is in control. Some questions to reflect on. Has there ever been a time where you have felt strongly that God was in control? What part of your life is the hardest for you to trust God in? How can you remind yourself that God is in control? And pray with me. God, help me to remember that you are in control. It's sometimes so difficult to see you working and remember that you are present because I'm distracted by all the brokenness that I live in. I'm sorry for forgetting that you are faithful and sovereign over all. Help me to trust that although there may be imperfect people on the thrones of my world, you are the perfect king who has my greater purpose in mind. Please give me faith to believe that you will always show up and that no earthly leader is outside of your plans and purpose. Amen. Thanks again so much for that, Claire. I'm sure we were all encouraged by it. And I hope you all have a great weekend. And as you look ahead to the new year, I hope that you have a fantastic new year. We'll see you later.